So in this video, I want to talk about some of the functionality that you can add to uh, objects uh, that you create from an actor uh, that are subclasses of an actor. So here's our wombat from the previous video, and I'm going to run it, and it's very simple. It's basically going to move um, to the right and stop. So when it hits the wall, it stops. So we want to add some other interaction to the uh, wombat so that it can maybe turn when it senses a wall uh, and go back and forth. So let's take a look at this. So I'm going to pause it here. And uh, so to take a look at the Wombat, basically, uh, if you take a look at that, it's a move method that just moves uh, forward four pixels, all right? And what I want to do is I want to add some functionality. So the question is, what kind of functionality do I can I add to an, uh, a Wombat, which is an actor? So let me go into Actor. And if you go into Actor, you'll notice that you'll get a, a link to an HTML file uh, for Actor and all of its uh, methods, all of the things it can do. Uh, there's lots of things here um, intersection rotation the world get X get Y the one I'm interested in here is is at edge so actors can determine if they're at the edge of the screen it's built in so I'm going to use this is at edge um, to see if I can add some functionality to this uh, guy so let me go back to Greenfoot here go back to my wombat let me double click here and I'm going to use an if statement to determine whether if I uh, whether or not I'm at a wall so uh, I'll start off with an if statement if so what do I want to do here if I'm not at a an edge if I'm not at an edge I want to move four which I have already so I'll just leave that there so that's good if I'm not at an edge I want to move uh, four else let's see if I don't if I'm at the edge, what, what I'm going to do? I think maybe I'll turn. I'll turn uh, around. I'll start off with that. I'll keep it in pseudocode. We can add the code later. And else. And if. Okay. So I'm going to use this um, if statement to uh, uh, detect if I'm at an edge. Move from not at an edge, move forward, else turn around. So there was a method there that detect edges. So it looks something like this is at edge. So if I'm at the edge, move forward, but I actually want the opposite logic if I'm not at the edge. So to reverse logic, if I want to switch the statement around, I can say if I'm not, which is an exclamation point, if I'm not at the edge, then I can move forward, else I'll turn around. So turn we saw in the last video. And it actually takes in degrees. So if I am facing a certain direction, I can go minus 180. Or actually just 180. It doesn't matter because I'm just going to turn around anyways. I'm going to face the other direction. So if I'm not at the edge, I'll move forward. Else, I'll turn. So let's see if that works. It looks like it. Let's see if it compiles. That looks good. Close it. And let's run it. Uh, when I run it, though, it looks like the Wombat is confused and it kind of stays there at the edge. So what's going on there? Let me pause that. Let's go back in. So if I'm not at the edge, I move forward, which is good. Else I turn 180. Now, when I turn 180, I'm technically still at the edge. So when the act method runs again, it says I'm at the edge and it keeps turning. That's why you saw it turn around and around and around. So what we want to do is kind of get away from the edge very quickly so we can move the other way so I'm going to say uh, once I've turned I'm gonna say you know what I'm gonna move just to move me one pixel just give me off the edge so that the next time I go through the act method I won't be at the edge I'll be one pixel from it but I won't be on the edge and then I can continue to move so let me close this up and let me compile and let's see here I go like this I wait and there it goes and it pops back now we can deal with the rotation the because it looks like it's upside down but um, we can detect edges and we can make the uh, wombat or whatever object that's a subclass of actor move back and forth. So um, that's how you can add some movement. But the in the big scheme of things, if you go to the actor class and double click it, you'll get, be given what's called uh, an API or a application program interface or basically a list of constructors and methods that you can use with your actor or subclass of it to do lots of different things. We took a look at is at edge, but there's lots of different things here. There's our move method, um, setting images, setting location, set rotation. So you can uh, peruse this and look around and um, at the different methods, and you can 
uh, use these uh, to help give your objects uh, a little more complex movement in Greenfoot.